Hello again, year four rowing class. So today we are actually going to move on to long division. So we've looked at short division earlier in the week. We are, round of applause, thank you, going to be moving on to chunking, which is called long division. Okay, so many of you will find this easier. It's about using related facts, which we've been working on a lot over the last week or two, morning fluency, um, and then breaking down the question so it's smaller and smaller and smaller um, to help us divide. So let's look at an example here. We put very similar to the bus stop method. We start just like this. So 72, the number we are dividing here, and then the divisor four on the outside. This time though, instead of finding out how many fours go into seven, we're going to focus on something we already know. We know that 10 times four equals 40. So I'm going to put that underneath my 72 there. What I'm then going to do is I'm going to use my column subtraction to get 32. So two take away zero is still two and seven take away four, two, three, four is three. So I'm left with 32. Okay. I'm a little bit more comfortable with that number now of my four times tables because I know that eight times four is 32. So 32 take away 32 is zero. What that means is I've done 10 times four and I've done eight times four. So overall, I have done 10 plus eight. I have done 18 times four. So 72 divided by four is 18. All about using the facts that you know. Let's try again. Okay, so we're highlighting the tables we're using and then we circle the number of groups to give us our answer. See if you can maybe do this one with me. I'll do it a little bit slower. You may want to get a piece of paper and a pencil now. So, very similar to the bus stop method, we're going to put our divisor, the number of groups we are sharing 84 into on the left-hand side, and then our big number in the centre. Now, look at that number there. I could go for five times six because I'm comfortable with that. I could go for 10 times six because that's 60. And I know that 60 is less than 84. So as a first chunk, that would work quite well. Let's go for that. 10 times six equals 60. Perfect. My next step now, I can just use my column subtraction to find the difference there. So four take away zero is four and eight take away six is two. So I'm left with 24. I need to get down to zero though. My six times tables, 24. Hopefully we're confident to notice that six times four is 24. So let's do another four groups. 24 take away 24 is zero. Perfect. So how many groups have I used overall? Let's circle them. 10 and 4, 14. 84 divided by 6 equals 14. Again, we've highlighted our times tables that we're using and we're circling the number of groups. So we're actually using our times tables to um, calculate our division question. Let's do another one again. Feel free to draw this out and do it as um, I go along. So we put our big number in the middle and our divisor to the side. I'm still finding groups of six. I'm going to go with 10 times six again. 10 lots of six is 60. So 
96 take away 60. We can do 6 take away 0 is 6. And 9 take away 6 is 3. Hopefully we can recognise that 36 is in our 6 times tables. 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36. So I can do another 6 groups of 6. And that gets me to zero you can break it down in more steps if you weren't very confident with six times six being 36 you may have done six times five so again we've highlighted our times tables and we've circled our groups to get 16. let's do this one together 112 divided by eight so 112 and eight again i know that 10 times 8 isn't going to be more than that. So I'm going to start with that. This time the column subtraction is a bit difficult, so don't forget to exchange. 2 take away 0 is still 2, but 1 take away 8. Can I do that? I can't do that. So I can borrow from the 1. What I would do, though, is I would just do 11. Take Because I don't have a number here, I'm just going to do 11 take away eight, which gives me three. There's no point exchanging if I've got nothing in my hundreds column for this number. I can just do 11 take away eight. And then eight times tables, eight, 16, 24, 32. So I've got four groups of eight. So we're left with zero, circle our groups for 14. Okay, so. Can you answer this one just before I set you off on all of your tasks? Pause the video here. See if you can use the chunking method for this question and then resume once you've finished and you want to check your answer. Okay. You may have used different chunks to the one that I'm going to use, but I used 10 times 6 again to begin with. Give me 60. And then I use column subtraction to find 48 and then I know that 6 times 8 is 48 so I used another 8 groups of 6 I'm going to circle my groups 10 and 8 gives me 18 so 108 divided by 6 is 18 try the same again here pause the video answer the question and then check your answer when you're ready. Hey, I'm just gonna skip through this nice and quick so you can check it. 10 times five is 50, which leaves us 75. I did 10 times five again is 50, which now leaves me 25. And then I know that five groups of five is 25 to get me down to zero. So let's circle how many groups of five I did. 10, 10, and five. And we add those up to get 25. 125 divided by five is 25. So can you try and answer these questions, these long division chunking questions, please? I will, as a resource, save um, a multiplication square but the whole point is we're using times tables that we know so we don't have to rely on resources okay so try not to actually use that if you can here are a few word problems if you've still got some time 72 paintbrushes in the cupboard and three pots how many paintbrushes go in each pot 64 children need to go to the swimming baths. Um, four buses are sent to take them there. How many children should go on each bus? And finally, a supermarket has four shelves for soup and 84 tins to put on them. Um, how many tins should they put on each shelf? And then your challenge X question. There are 484 children in the school. They need to be split into four groups. How many children will there be in each group? Your answers are coming up now. So 24, 16, 
21, 121. They are the answers for your word problems and the answers for these ones here I will put in. 42 divided by 3 is 14. 96 divided by 8 is 12. 95 divided by 5 is 19. 90 divided by 6 is 15. 91 divided by 7 should be... sorry 13 and share 132 equally into six groups should be 22 just enlarge that quickly so you can see well done year four see you for english